what's the best way to make your color digital images have the classic black and white feel in this video i will show you how to convert your color digital images into amazing classic black and white film look using capture one i'll show you the distinct things that you need to pay attention to while creating the black and white film stock type of look go to the color tab of capture one and enable black and white and that's the first step i will just quickly clean up the skin going to white balance i'm going to shift the kelvin i find that when i shift my digital images towards the cold region i get darker black and white look and when i lift it up towards the warm everything brightens up we will take out sharpening from the images in general i will show you how sharpening comes back into this coming to clarity and i'm going to pull out my clarity reduce contrast as well go to the luma the curves pick the luma range and boost up our highlight pull down our shadows then now we'll push the black Moving into the black and white area. To open up for the skin and the foliage, I will be pulling my yellows. Mostly for the skin, I'll be pulling my yellows up. And to get a good darkened skin, I will take the, black, the red down. This effect also works in Lightroom, so you could apply this principle. The green, I'll take the green up. Um, cyan, um, not much, but I'll pick it up. The blues is going to catch the cloud. So I want details in the clouds. So I will drop the blues a little down, a little bit down. Magenta, naturally, I, if there's magenta, on the skin i'll take magenta up but most of the time i pull my magenta down as well i just keep my magenta where the red is my dynamic range for the shadows i'll take my shadows a little up now crushing the black at the same time i'll open up the white just to make it bright so the reason why i have decided to drop the contrast slider but still deepen the blacks to make it contrasty because I want to control how much of contrast I want in this image. So I've taken out the contrast, not completely, but a little, then I can now see the image and decide to what point I want this image to have contrast, especially because I'm trying to make the image look like a true black and white film stock. Let's add a little bit of structure just to give it that feel. We are creating a film loop. We don't need digital sharpening. So I will move to the sharpening area and take sharpening out of this image completely. Zero in sharpening. Getting more out of the skin. If I was going to darken the skin at this point, I would drop these colors down and it's dark. Yeah, so let's, let's keep it a little dark. Lightness as well can be affected. The saturation would also add to the character of the image. Every color information here is necessary for the images. The reds as well. I like to keep red dark. Red naturally looks dark in a black and white image, so I keep it that way. While the yellow, I will lift the yellow a little. I'm directing the yellow channel towards green so that I can boost the background. And on the green channel, let's see. that as well with the blues 
Now we're going to work with our film grain. To get your film grain to a perfect level, you need to zoom in to the image so that you can see how much it's affecting the image. I like to use the silver rich in Capture One. It kind of works for me. Based on your preferences, you might go higher with your grains or lower. But I like a lot of grain because that's what adds the character to the black and white portrait. And also it creates some form of sharpness to a classic black and white image. And that's our look. We've been able to convert our image to a classic black and white portrait. Yeah. I'm just going to see how this translates to the other images I have. I'll copy the settings and apply. Just my crop here. Let's try it out on this as well. I can boost my contrast with my level slider even more. Go to the channel, the black and white channel. And bring down my green. This is where I have green, bring it down. The same thing with our next image, I will just apply the same settings and then tweak it a bit till it's right. The outfit has a yellow feel to it, so I would go ahead and recover the yellow highlight. Using the advanced tool, I would select that area and pull down the lightness. Reduce yellow from the black and white slider and I have a better looking image. How do you prefer creating your black and white images? Is it through the digital processes we did here or just creating the look with the film stock? Let us know in the comments below what you think. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I'll be happy to have you here and looking forward to seeing you in another video. Bye.